What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. So today I wanted to do another video on what needs to change in the world of Destiny. Today's video is focused on the gaps in the franchise. What I mean when I say the gaps in the franchise is the minimum information that we were given, but then again, no backstory to it. In no way, shape, or form is this video trying to take over what the monotone king, Bife, does with the Destiny lore. This topic can go on and on and on, but we don't have forever to get into every single thing. So most likely this will be a two part, even a three part and possibly a four part video. Now, even though we are in Destiny 2, there are plenty of things from the original Destiny that's never been answered. And it's kind of strange that those things weren't addressed in the beginning of Destiny 2. Let's start with one of the most important things in the franchise, which is the Traveler. According to the narrator from the official Destiny Vida, quote, Legend says the Traveler sacrificed itself to save us. The mysterious sphere still hangs where it made its last stand, low above the earth, keeping silent watch, end quote. But we still don't know what the Traveler is or where it came from. And according to the Destiny Wiki, quote, when it arrived, humanity first discovered it on Mars, end quote. My thing is, if humanity first discovered the Traveler on Mars, from which that is where the Cabal were, what made it come to Earth? Now, Destiny 1 referred to the Traveler's most ancient enemy as, quote, the darkness, end quote. Many things could have been speculated, but in Destiny 1, every enemy was referred to as the Darkness. The Fallen, the Vex, the Hive, the Cabal, and even the Black Heart on Mars were all the Darkness. In an interview with Luke Smith, the term the Darkness was not to be used in Destiny 2 until Bungie actually figures out what the Darkness actually is. I mean, if the creators don't know what the Darkness is, then how the heck are we supposed to know? Now, let's go back into Vanilla Destiny real quick. We had one specific EXO, aka The Stranger, who helped us out a lot, but after Vanilla Destiny came and gone, The Stranger was never to be heard of again. We have no idea who she was besides her name, and that doesn't really help because we called her The Stranger. We don't know who she was talking to on her comms, and we don't know what happened to her after she left the tower in Destiny 1 after we beat the campaign. But what we do know is that she doesn't like the Vex, which would make sense if she were working with Osiris, and that would also make sense that Osiris was the one she was talking to on the radio. But then again, what about the Queen, Marasov, and her brother, Aldrin Solve? After the Taken King space battle, we know that the Queen faints from exhaustion briefly, but we don't actually see her die, and she disappears, which was all part of the plan the Queen as well as Eris Morn formulated in secret. According to the Destiny lore, her brother, Aldrin's ship, crash landed on Mars at the Candor Isles. You can find that out from the Aftermath Grimoire card. Speaking of Ares Morn, she had apparently left the tower before the Cabal invasion in order to look for more ways to destroy the Hive, according to her Grimoire card, that is. But we have no idea where she went. We don't know if she is still on Earth, let alone if she is even in the same solar system. Last but not least, let's talk about the Vanguard Mentors. Who were the Vanguard mentors before Ikora, Cade, and Zavala? Well, we know that Osiris was the Vanguard commander before Zavala was, and that was before Osiris was exiled, so that takes care of Warlocks. We know that Andal Brask was Cade's close friend, who was the former Hunter Vanguard before Cade until he was killed by Tanix the Scarred. The only one left is Saint-14, who was the Titan Vanguard and happens to be Osiris's friend. He is the only one that we don't know his whereabouts. All we know is that Saint-14 went to go investigate what Osiris was doing on Mercury, but he hasn't been seen or heard from since he left to Mercury. All of these are only some of the gaps in the franchise that we know nothing about. Hopefully, some of these gaps are explained to us in the coming expansions as well as DLC. In order for there to actually be a good story, you need to fill in these gaps in order to put our minds at ease, Bungie. And that, fellow Guardians, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and share it. Feedback is always appreciated. If you have any ideas for a future video, then let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.